TVU 25 News Now at 10. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Adam Seibel. The Texas Department of Public Safety said no explosive devices were found at the Texas State Capitol after a bomb threat was called in today. That bomb threat led to the evacuation of the grounds earlier today after the Austin Police Department received a 911 call from an unknown person. The caller said there was a pipe bomb at the Capitol. However, Department of Public Safety troopers and bomb sniffing dogs searched the grounds to determine there was no explosives found. DPS said an all clear was given just a few hours ago at 7.23 p.m., adding that its criminal investigation division is investigating the incident. A man and woman died in a mobile home fire that happened 6.30 a.m. Friday morning in Port O'Connor. Both victims are suspected to have succumbed to smoke inhalation, and there's no sign of foul play. The fire started in the kitchen and was a grease fire. A neighbor saw smoke and called 911 with the Port O'Connor Fire Department responding. The presiding judge did order an autopsy on both Johnson and Holcomb. The Austin Police Department investigating after a body was recovered Saturday from Ladyburg Lake near Longhorn Dam. Austin Police Department said and Austin Fire responded to the scene where an unidentified adult was pronounced dead after receiving multiple urgent calls. Officials say there's no estimate for how long the person was in the water and APD's homicide unit investigating the incident, but there's no suspicious evidence at this time. <clears throat> the investigation is being conducted with assistance from the medical examiner's office, which is responsible for determining cause of death. There's a new push on U.S. run free electronic tax filing system for all. Tax day is April 18th, so there's still some time left if you haven't filed your taxes yet. So here's your, your poll this evening. Scan that QR code on your screen to vote now. Would you support a government operated electronic free file tax return system for all? Let's take a look at these results here. It looks like 28% say yes and 72% say no. Thank you for voting. Come to crossroadstoday.com slash vote to participate. All right, it's time to talk weather on this Sunday night. We're going to go ahead and check in with First Warren Storm Team meteorologist Howie Gordon to see what your week will look like. Howie? All right, so what happened? Front came in, knocked our temperatures down a little bit on the chillier, the cooler side, but I think the comfortable side. Yesterday, 94 with humidity, our dew point temperatures in the upper 70s, and now, yes, those dew points get knocked down into the 30s and 40s with temperatures only in the 70s. That feels a lot better, but we will start to warm up. Now, winds earlier today, yeah, we have a 35 mile per hour gust. Now, these winds a little better. We'll be in the 60s this evening, and overnight, though, dropping down to 59, but we're going to warm up with rain chances as well. We'll talk more about it coming up in just a bit. All right, thanks, Howie. We now hear a legislative session update from Sunrise anchor Carolina Strain and a Texas Tribune Capitol reporter. It's been a busy legislative session. We hear from Renzo Downey. He's a Capitol reporter with the Texas Tribune about the latest. Welcome, Renzo. Hey, thanks for having me. So our very own Lois Klokhorst, our state senator, she was leading the charge for a mental health bill, Senate Bill 26. What was the result? Yes, yeah, so that bill passed the Senate unanimously on Thursday. And that bill, uh, she can do a lot of things regarding mental health. It's going to put forward uh, $15 million for this innovation grant. And it's also trying to institute a 10 year, like every 10 year audit for uh, local mental health facilities. And it's also uh, trying to move people out of the psychiatric facilities that the state has and move them into more long term solutions, nursing homes. Um, it's all part of an effort to tackle the, uh, the state's mental health system. Texas definitely struggles with mental health care compared to states are across the country. So it's great to see some bipartisan action on this bill. I hear both Democrats and Republicans were, were on the same page on this. Yeah, for the most part, I mean, the bill passed unanimously. However, uh, there, there's been some amendments that we're trying to get on that bill that uh, weren't successful, but overall that package and what can we expect as far as the budget bill? Where is it um, right now? Yeah, so the Senate um, 
is getting ready to pick up the House's budget bill, which um, was passed two weeks ago. Uh, and last week, the major point of contention was uh, property taxes. And you had the House passing its version of property taxes after the lieutenant governor, who runs the Senate, uh, he came out and said, you know, it's basically a non-starter with him what the House is trying to do. He, he was pushing that before they voted on it, after they voted on it, and the House is, you know, holding their ground on it. Um, the lieutenant governor said, we sent the message, and the uh, House Speaker said the same thing. So it's going to be real interesting to see how they sort out their differences there. Quite a showdown at the Capitol. Thank you so much, Renzo, for, for filling us in, and thank you for doing what you do. Oh, well, thank you. All right, back to you. Thank you. All righty, grab your cell phone and scan this QR code. This is our quick response code to download the free Crossroads Today app. You can watch us anytime, anywhere, and get breaking news alerts and vote in our viewer polls. Learn all about our ongoing contest right there on the app, and you can also submit news tips and photos. Stay with us. Coming up, a major abortion pill decision is expected this week. Dried off, or at least the atmosphere dried out, but moisture will continue to move in. We could see some showers as we head towards the middle of the week, and we'll talk more about that coming up in just a little bit. Texas, now's the time to gear up and save on a new Ford SUV. Get great deals on our most capable lineup. Now with a great in-stock selection to choose from, like the spacious and tech-savvy Ford Expedition or Ford Explorer and Bronco Sport. Ford SUVs, number one in brand loyalty. Drive Escape now with 0% financing plus 1,000 cash, plus up to 500 accessories cash, plus complimentary maintenance. Ford is the best in Texas. A cancer patient can need up to eight units of platelets a week. So make sure we have enough supply, because when you give, I live. Donate blood and help save a life. Go to yougivetheylive.org to schedule your donation today. The Sweetheart Boutique invites you to the historic Square in Goliad for a unique shopping experience. Ladies Linen Clothing, a candy shop, children's toys and apparel. Nestled in the Goliad Historic Square is a candy shop that can turn back time with candies and sodas from your childhood. And boy, are they a haven for the children. Infant, toddler and kids clothing, swimsuits, family matching outfits and more. Just a short drive to Goliad. Come visit the Sweetheart Boutique, serving the Crossroads area for over 15 years. Hello, my name is McClovio Perez. My friends call me Mac. I'm the new Chief Meteorologist at 25 News Now. In the weather world, our job is to save lives and property. Service is very important, and, and the people need to know you, they need to like you, and they need to trust you. And if they don't do any one of those, then you're not gonna be on TV for very long. There's my forecast for the summer. Very hot and a very active storm season. Write that down. Let me know how I did at the end of the season. Live has a new co-host. Hi, Mark Consuelos. Nice to meet you. <laughs> We're live with Kelly and Mark. That's why I have cameras everywhere. <laughs> Monday, Char Margolis and Chili. <laughs> You're right. Shooting in Dadesville, Alabama has left at least four people dead and a multitude of others hurt. Police say the incident unfolding around 10.30 p.m. last night during a birthday party. A sweet 16 birthday party turned tragic Saturday evening. Police have blocked off Broadneck Street in Dadeville. Gunfire erupting at this dance hall in Dadeville, Alabama, a small community about 60 miles northeast of Montgomery. Four lives were lost in the tragic event that occurred here in Dayton. As far as the injuries, there are 28 individuals that were injured during the course of the incident. Some of those injuries are critical. Among those killed, 18-year-old Phil Dowdall, a promising young football star who was headed to Jacksonville State on a scholarship this fall. It was his sister's birthday party. Phil is a uh, humble, humble, 
uh, a major smile. He had one goal is to, uh, you know, get to the NFL and take care of his mom. Authorities have asked the public for any information that could help in the investigation. So if you are at home right now or you know somebody that has any information about what occurred last night, I cannot stress this enough. Ever how minor you think it is, we absolutely need you to share it. The tight-knit community now grieving. Our thoughts and prayers are, are with all the families. Um, they're just, there are no words to describe the emotions that we're all feeling. According to the Gun Violence Archive, there have been at least 163 mass shootings so far this year, more than one and a half per day, the highest on record at this point of the year. President Biden once again calling on Congress to enact common sense gun control legislation, writing in a statement, what has our nation come to when children cannot attend a birthday party without fear, when parents have to worry every time their kids walk out the door to school, to the movie theater or to the park? Andrew Dimbert, ABC News, New York. The National Rifle Association's annual meeting in Indianapolis continues through today. The event has triggered a number of protests outside the Indiana Convention Center. Over 20 people gathered on Saturday to express their concern over gun violence, many waving signs and chanting about the issues of guns and safety in the wake of recent mass shootings in Louisville and Nashville. Organizers also held what they called a body count protest involving people lying down in the grass to represent children killed in mass shootings. An estimated 70,000 NRA members were expected to attend the three-day event. The battle over the abortion pill is intensifying. Protests this weekend as the Supreme Court considers whether to grant the Biden administration's request to preserve the FDA's decade-old approval of the drug used in the majority of abortions in this country. Are we going to back down? No! Tonight, the fight over abortion reaching a fever pitch. Yes! As the Supreme Court, less than a year after it overturned Roe v. Wade, prepares to weigh in this week on a consequential abortion pill case. Protest this weekend from L.A. to Washington. Honestly, I don't have a lot of faith in the Supreme Court right now. We're here to counter them um, and celebrate that the abortion pill is becoming more regulated. By 11.59 p.m. Wednesday, the nation's highest court, with its conservative majority, is expected to decide if the abortion pill mifepristone, used in more than half of U.S. abortions, should stay available in states where it's legal. A ruling this month by a federal judge in Texas tried to suspend FDA approval of the medication, which would ban it nationwide. What is it going to be next? Is that judge going to not like birth control pills? Are we going to have a judge that doesn't like Lipitor? But some Republicans are downplaying critics' concerns that the Texas decision could undermine the FDA's ability to approve other drugs. I think that's totally alarmist. It's totally alarmist. And by the way, when did the FDA go above the law? A recent Pew poll found 53% of Americans say abortion via medication should be legal in their state. 22% say it should be illegal. Providers like Dr. Kristen Brandy in limbo as they await the high court's decision. Mifepristone is a medication I literally give every single day of my practice. Losing this medication will be devastating. The former FDA commissioner who oversaw the approval of mifepristone more than 20 years ago tells us tonight it's disturbing that the Texas ruling could undermine public confidence in the FDA's approval process. The justices have not yet indicated how they'd lean in this decision. Elizabeth Schulze, ABC News, the Supreme Court. The community will have another opportunity to learn more about Victoria College's May 6 bond election. Voters will decide a $10 million bond issue to help with a $36.5 million project for a student success center. Victoria College already has $26.5 million in grants, gifts, and institutional funds for that project. The college is hosting its second bond informational Tuesday, April 18th at the Student Center located at 2200 East Red River Street. The bond election is Saturday, May 6th, and early voting runs April 24th through May 2nd. For more on today's news stories, come to CrossroadsToday.com. Don't forget your, to submit your birthday wishes. Carolina Estrain will read them live on 25 News Now Sunrise. You can also submit a local military hero so we can recognize them. Some disturbances early in the week, maybe Monday, Tuesday, might not bring showers, but as moisture continues to build, we could see those showers maybe Tuesday and into Wednesday. And we're going to talk more about that coming up straight ahead. 
Looking for a way to support your community? Find unique treasures at Blue & Company. Why not catch a movie at the Grand Theater? Or spruce up your garden at Handy Stop Nursery. Shop local and support your community. Visit Yoakum and explore all it has to offer. Y'all call, I haul. Is your home cluttered and crammed? Do you have too much junk to handle? Well, look no further. Our junk removal and dumpster services are here to help. Whether you're moving, renovating, or just cleaning out the garage, our junk removal and dumpster services are the perfect solution. We'll take care of everything from loading up your junk to getting rid of it responsibly. So call us today for your free quote. Y'all call, I haul. 361-541-6858. You, you want to have purpose, to unlock your full potential. Imagine a career that fits you. With the Pathways at Victoria College, you can take steps towards a high paying career that fits you and your interests. Or save money by completing courses you need before transferring to a university to earn a bachelor's degree. No matter where you came from or where you are now, Victoria College will take you where you want to be. The world needs you. Are you ready? Victoria College, enroll today. When you don't keep your eyes on what you're doing, it can be downright dangerous to you and others, especially when you're behind the wheel. Put your phone down. Heads up, Texas. Well, you say the, the secret to playing a good villain is great eye contact. <laughs> See, it's terrifying. <laughs> From the Mandalorian, Giancarlo Esposito. This dude's coming at me with a, a freaking spear. You got one, too. I got one, too, but his is longer. I went backwards, the whole room stopped, and I jumped up with my lightsaber. <laughs> Plus, from Ghost, Brandon Scott Jones. They know who I am. They know who you are, Dr. Phil. She says she's under attack. You say they hit you, punch you, hurt you physically. Are they upset that you're talking to me? By spiritual entities, there's a male entity. You had a relationship with him? Things became more than friends. Can you have a sexual relationship in the astral world? All new, Dr. Phil. Today, we had lots of sunshine, but temperatures topping out at 78 after yesterday, 94 degrees. So where we're supposed to be, that front knocked us down temperature wise. But look what happened back in 1920, 100 degrees. So yes, we could be a lot warmer on a day like today or yesterday. We were a lot warmer. All right, here's our future temps. The cool, dry air has moved into the area, knocking us down in the 50s. But with those dew points on the lower side as well, it feels a lot more comfortable out there. But we will start to gain moisture in the atmosphere as well as temperatures as the week moves along with that moisture. Yeah, we could see some showers as well. We'll touch on that in the next moment or two. So here's our dew points. Yesterday, 75, 77 degrees. Now in the 30s and 40s, that boundary came through and grabbed all the moisture and threw it out into the open oceans. And now here we are on the drier side. It makes things more tolerable and feeling a lot more comfortable. Now, earlier today, I've said it before, winds gusting away or steady winds 25 miles per hour, gusting to about 35. But these winds have lessened throughout the day. Later in the week, we'll start to see that air, that warm moisture push out of the Gulf. That will start to spike up winds around maybe talking 20, 25 mile per hour winds. So there's the boundary that came through, bringing all kinds of showers, just missed the crossroads for showers, elevated our winds, and bringing the cooler air down as well. High pressure keeping our skies clear, so lots of sunshine. But what's going to happen, that high will start to move off, and what that is going to do, that's going to start to allow more warm moisture pushing up from the Gulf. Now we're going to have some disturbances pushed through on Monday. You see some of these clouds, and this is a little bit of some uh, storm energy, but not enough moisture really to trigger off some showers. But as the moisture continues to move in, meeting up with some other disturbances from the West, yeah, Tuesday into Wednesday, we could start to see some showers here in the crossroads. So more moisture, 
warmer temperatures and maybe even some rain chances as well later on in the week or maybe in the middle of the week. We'll take another look at it with our future tracker. So our best shot probably is that Tuesday, Wednesday time frame. After that, we will dry off again. But yes, yeah, this moisture um, starts to uh, build out of the Gulf, meets up with some of these storms or storm of uh, small disturbances. Yeah, we can start to see some showers Tuesday and into Wednesday before we dry off again. So here's a look at our marine forecast. So 69 for the water, seas three to four, but occasionally up to five feet. That's going to keep our bays on the choppy side. So this evening in the 60s, but we're probably going to drop down into the 50s again. So a little chillier compared to the last few nights. That's what that front did. Brought that cooler, dry, sinking air in. So tomorrow, though, 78, not too bad. A little bit on the breezy side with mostly sunny skies. Looking ahead. We do start to warm up rain chances in that 30% range Tuesday into Wednesday, but then we start to dry off and warm up later on in the week. But then another cool down. Look at that Friday and into Saturday. For more weather news and sports, you can go to our app. That's at CrossroadsToday.com and that is free with any Android and iPhone. Thank you, Howie. NBA playoffs in full swing, but we've also got local baseball and softball coming up in sports. Protecting your eyesight is important, but who can you trust for eye care? Luckily, we have an excellent resource of compassionate eye doctors right here in South Texas at Victoria Eye Center. Dr. Sean Cavusi, Dr. Daniel Bustos, Dr. Peter Lamb, Dr. George Buzalis, Dr. Jack Lee, as well as our skilled team of optometrists provide treatment for diabetic eyes, cataracts, glaucoma, dry eye, LASIK, and much more. With five locations in South Texas, there's bound to be an office near you. Contact Victoria Eye Center to schedule an eye exam. Care. The freshest flowers, the prettiest plants, balloons and gift baskets too. If beautifully unique is what you seek, making lasting impressions is what we do. Always the very best value for you. When it comes from McAdams, it shows you care. In Texas, the future belongs to everyone. So we created the truck of the future for everyone. Ford F-150, part of America's best-selling trucks for 46 straight years. With an available 12-inch touchscreen and interior work surface, it puts the world at your fingertips. And now, there's a great in-stock selection to choose from at your best in Texas Ford dealer. Drive F-150 now with 0% financing plus 1,000 cash plus up to 1,000 accessories cash plus complimentary maintenance. Ford is the best in Texas. You blew her off to go out with friends. Yes, ma'am. Mad after her man didn't come home. You got into an argument? Packed the stuff and, and left. Did you know where she was going? Oh, yeah. That's where she always go. But was another man waiting for her? You mean she goes back to her husband? Yes. Your husband supports you? Yes. Kind of a bizarre relationship. Mr. Pipkins, I can almost understand why you went out with the boys. Next Judge Judy. Good evening, Crossroads. NBA playoffs in full swing, and earlier the Lakers went into Memphis for Game 1. The Lakers in the fourth quarter go on a 13-0 run to help take Game 1 of the series against the Grizzlies. John Morant dropped 18 points. Anthony Davis had 22 on 10 of 17 shooting as the L.A. Lakers win 128 to 112. And in Milwaukee, the Heat took Game 1 of that series 130 to 117. Some stories to pay attention to in this game. However, Giannis only played 11 minutes. He had a back injury. And Tyler Harrow played 19 minutes. He has a broken hand, which will probably keep him out for at least a month. Huge games in Shiner Friday night, starting with the Comanches and Maiden. Shiner only one hit all game, but it was a homer, leading one to nothing. Going into the final inning, the Maidens had plenty of hits but nothing to show for it. They work a walk to get on base. That pass ball puts a runner in scoring position, but Shiner pitching did a fantastic job all night of stranding base runners, and they did, they did just that to escape with the win. The hero with the lone hit, Payton, Payton Vincic, hears what she had to say. It was pretty tough. We, I've seen her the last two years, and I mean, I just wanted to grind off of that. Uh, this year, I was waiting for the changeup. I knew it was coming. Changeup, rise ball, and I was just waiting for the fastball down the middle inside to take it out. 
Shiner now in second, right behind Weimer. The Ganado Maidens fall to third in that tight District 29 to a race. Right across the sidewalk, the boys also playing Ganado and got masterful pitching all night long to go along with great offense. That is always a winning combination. Shiner would put up 10 runs in the win. The Ganado boys had some highlights as well. They would nail a base runner, runner trying to take second, but that would be about it as they would fail to score in the game. Right up the road in Yolkham, the Lady Bulldogs welcomed the Columbus Cardinals, who scored early and often winning 11 to nothing. Yolkham falls to 2-7 and seven in district play and sit just ahead of Palacios. The huge win for Columbus because they are trying to keep up with the Hallettsville Bramers who just keep winning. They take home a 13-1 win over Rice Consolidated to improve to 9-1 in district play. Next up for Hallettsville, they get Tidehaven. Over on the Victoria East side of things, they had a chance to control their own destiny with a shot at the postseason, but they just couldn't quite pull out the win in Corpus. They fell to Ray 7-1. And the West Warriors take down Corpus Christi Miller final in that one. 11-1, they have one more game. That's an away game against Carroll. Earlier this afternoon, the Jags got a win over Louisiana Christian 5-2. They are now 14-10 and conference play their remaining schedule. All away games versus teams that are just ahead of them in the conference. Going to be paying close attention to the standings as the Jags look to close in on a few teams. And the Rangers beat the Astros 9-1 on national TV. Adam, back to you. All right, thanks, Zach. Stay with us. We'll be right back with one last look at your weather. Stay up to date with what's happening in the Crossroads by downloading the Crossroads Today mobile app. You'll get instant alerts to your phone or tablet the minute breaking news or weather happens. Only the free Crossroads Today mobile app features weather updates for local sports. The Crossroads Today app gives you the ability to stream our daily newscast when you're on the go and share pictures or tips straight to our newsroom and so much more. Brought to you locally by Prosperity Bank with 12 locations serving the Crossroads area. Victory Kia and Victory GMC want to let you know that you can lean on us. We will award $500 to a deserving winner. Drop off an entry form at any of our participating dealerships in the Lean On Me drop box with your story and contact info. Go to crossroadstoday.com slash lean on me for more information or to enter online. You can tune in every other Thursday at the 6, 9, and 10 p.m. news to view our winners. Lean On Me is sponsored by Victory Kia and Victory GMC. For over a century, local broadcasting has evolved with the needs of the community. We move past the stigmas of opinion journalism and bring the most relevant news online, on air, and on the go. You have trusted us with your news, sports, weather, and entertainment. Trust us to keep moving with you. Text TB to 52886 and tell Congress local broadcasting is here to stay. The Navy celebrating 200 years in the Florida South Keys, so it brought in the Blue Angels to put on a show. Wow, look at that view. And what better way to see the Keys than from the cockpit of an F-A-18 Super Hornet fighter jet? This amazing video from the inside of a cockpit was shot during Friday's practice run. It shows Lieutenant Scott Gossens performing maneuvers with other jets nearby. The Blue Angels are headlining a free air show over the weekend. And they did one today at the Naval Air Station in the Lower Keys. All right, we have time for one last look at the weather with Howie. Howie? All right, really quick, we'll take a look at what's going on with our marine forecast. So 69 for the water, a little chilly. Seas though, 3 to 4, occasionally up to 5 feet. That'll keep our bays on the choppy side. So this evening we'll be in the 60s, but... Overnight dropping down to 59 degrees, clear skies. Then tomorrow, though, hey, pretty much where we're supposed to be around 78 degrees, mostly sunny. We start to warm up with cloud cover, and we're looking at rain chances as well with a warm up and a cool down later on in the week. Thanks, Howie. Zach, that's pretty cool, the Blue Angels. Yeah, I, that made my stomach kind of turn. <laughs> so I have a friend that's actually in the Air Force, and I was his, and I didn't know this until we were already uh -huh. thousands of feet in the air. Uh -huh. I was his first passenger. Oh, my and gosh. And we obviously weren't doing these types of <laughs> tricks, but you, can't, you couldn't tell me that when I was looking down at the ground. I, yeah. Flying is not my thing. Oh, man, yeah. I think you're right. That, uh, that'd be scary, <laughs> but especially a view like that doing turns and it's stuff. It's beautiful. 
Yeah. It's just not for me. <laughs> Maybe we'll leave that to Tom Cruise. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, Zach. Thanks for being with us. <laughs> Remember, we're streaming 24-7 on CrossroadsToday.com. Have a good night, everyone.